Phantom Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long. And I've got great ways to explain accounting. So welcome aboard. Hey, I want to say thank you to all the people that are subscribing to the channel and watching the videos. I really appreciate it. Makes me feel real good. So um, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing. So um, you can, and also I've got um, all my videos on accountingsuperstars.com. It's my website and I've got all the videos listed by topic. So that way you can find what you're looking for real easy. So let's get started. So today's lesson is for students in their very first accounting class and studying accounts payable. So I'm gonna show you today just some very, very basic transactions uh, with accounts payable. So let's get started. Here we go. So number one, this is uh, Fred's snowblower service. Based on a true story, by the way. So Fred purchased five snowblowers to be resold to customers. Total cost, $5,000. Terms are 2-10 net 30. What that means is 2% off if you pay in 10 days or Fred pays in 10 days. Otherwise, pay in full in 30. Now, smart people take advantage of these discounts. Now, 2% doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to debit purchases for $5,000. Now, the account purchases is a specific account. It's set aside, it's got a specific use. And what it is, it's when Fred purchases inventory that he's going to turn around and resell to the customers. We call that purchases, all right? And by the way, this would be under the uh, periodic system. And so um, here we go. And then we're going to credit accounts payable for the same amount. All right, so uh, this is called recording it at the gross amount, all right? Now, if Fred's smart, he's gonna take advantage of that discount though. So coming down to transaction number two. Well, by golly, Fred does pay for those five snowblowers within the 10-day discount period and took the 2% discount. So that was, that was wise, that was very wise of Fred. The reason why is, is that 2% discount represents 2% uh, over a short period of time. And if you annualize that, it comes out to a real high percentage rate, I think about 36% on in annual terms. So Fred is going to write off that accounts payable. He's paid it and he's paid it in full. So it's completely written off and it's important to do that because if he doesn't completely zero out that accounts payable account, he might accidentally pay the balance, and that happens. I've seen that happen. And um, Fred here is taking that discount, so we have purchase discounts, and the discount is $100. That's 2% of $5,000. It adds up, folks. It, it really adds up quick. And Fred is paying out cash. So Fred is paying out $4,900. There we go. So coming on down. Transaction number three here, Fred purchased snowblower repair tools on account for $1,000. And the terms again are 2-10 net 30, 2% off if Fred pays in 10 days, otherwise pay up in 30. Now, the repair tools will not be sold to customers, but will be used by Fred. So Fred, this is not inventory. Fred is not selling this to his customers. So we, we don't want to use the account purchases. Purchases is reserved when Fred buys inventory to turn around and sell to his customers. So we're going to debit an asset account. We'll just call it tools and equipment. It's an asset for $1,000 and Credit accounts payable for $1,000. There we go, so we're not debiting purchases. Uh, I know it sounds like Fred purchased something, and he did. In fact, right here in the description, it says Fred purchased, but we're not gonna use the account purchases. It's reserved for things that are going to be turned around, sold to customers. All right, number four. Number four, Fred forgot about the discount period, darn. But Fred did not. Uh, but Fred did pay for the tools in full, one thousand dollars at the end of the thirty day. Debit accounts payable, one thousand. Credit cash for a thousand. There you go. So there is that transaction. Transaction number five. Fred purchased three snowblowers that Fred will sell to customers. Total cost for the three snowblowers was three thousand dollars. And again, the terms are two dash ten net thirty. Pay in ten days, you get two percent off. Otherwise, pay up in thirty. So. 
Here we go. We're going to use the account purchases because these are items that Fred is going to turn around and sell to customers. So $3,000 and we're going to credit accounts payable. There we go. Now, number six, number six, look at that. One of the snowblowers caught on fire. Uh, one of the three snowblowers that was just purchased was found to be damaged at the time Fred received the three snowblowers. Fred immediately sent the snowblower back to the wholesaler and received a credit memo for $1,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to debit accounts payable because Fred does not want to pay for that damaged snowblower. And Fred is going to credit an account called purchase returns. And this is a, a very important account to monitor because um, I don't know about you, uh, but I don't like returning things that I've purchased like on the internet or whatever. I don't like returning anything. It's, it's a hassle. And businesses are the same way. They don't like returning stuff. You got to box it up and pack it up and ship it off and a, it, it's a lot of work. And so if that purchase returns account is growing and growing and growing and becomes too big, management might want to ask, hey, can we find a, a better vendor? Somebody will send us good stuff. We don't like returning it. Number seven here, Fred paid for the two snow blowers uh, he kept within the 10 uh, day discount period taking the 2% discount. So what we have to do is we need to write off or zero out the other $2,000. So here's what I'm getting at. Originally, Fred bought $3,000 worth of snowblowers. Here we go, accounts payable, 3,000. And Fred sent one back, so we um, debited accounts payable for 1,000. That you know reverses out 1,000. And then Fred is paying off the other two. Now, Fred was smart, took the discount. And folks, the discount will be only on the snowblowers that were kept. Uh, Fred can't take a, a discount on the one he sent back. That wouldn't be right. I know some people do that, but it really makes vendors angry. And if you ha have a good vendor, you don't want to make them angry. And so uh, 2000 minus 40 is 1960. So. Fred will pay out cash of 1960. So folks, I hope this video helped you out. Hit that subscribe button and the like button in the comments. Let me know what uh, videos you want to see. I'll make some more for you. And uh, check out the website, accountingsuperstars.com. So uh, until next time, we'll see you later. Over and out.